SpaceX will be launching its Falcon Heavy 5 rocket at least five times next year. While the past few months, we have seen most of the spotlight being given to SpaceX's latest rocket project, the Starship, it doesn't mean SpaceX has stopped the development of its other platforms. What is the Falcon Heavy? Falcon Heavy is a partially reusable heavy lift rocket that was developed by SpaceX. It is a spiritual successor to the Falcon 9 class of rockets. Falcon Heavy was developed as a bulkier version of the Falcon 9, so it could carry more weight into orbit. The Falcon Heavy has a more strengthened first stage core in the center that also acts as the core of the rocket, with two additional Falcon 9 first stages serving as strap-on boosters to the core. This setup is in stark contrast to the stage setup SpaceX is going for with Starship. In Starship, SpaceX is using a vertical stacking mechanism assembly stage of the rocket. The strap-on booster design resembles a more conventional design of heavy launch vehicles. These additional Falcon 9 rockets as boosters and the strengthened core join together to make Falcon Heavy be categorized as a heavy lift launch vehicle, as compared to a single Falcon 9 being classified as a medium lift launch vehicle. This puts Falcon Heavy in the big leagues with the likes of NASA's Delta IV Heavy or the Russian Proton M. A heavy lift launch vehicle, or HLLV for short, is classified as a launch vehicle that can carry a weight of 20,000 to 50,000 kilograms into low Earth orbit. That's 44,000 to 110,000 pounds in Imperial units by NASA's classifications. The Russians classify a little differently, with the range being anywhere from 20,000 to 100,000 kilograms or 44,000 to 220,000 pounds in Imperial units. The Falcon Heavy towers to a height of about 70 meters, that's just around 230 feet, and has a diameter of 3.66 meters, that is, each booster. And while Falcon Heavy was initially developed to carry humans into low Earth orbit and beyond into space, that plan has since been cancelled. SpaceX doesn't intend to use the Falcon Heavy to transport humans into space, owing to the fact that SpaceX hasn't pursued the human rating certification process to transport NASA astronauts for the Falcon Heavy. Falcon Heavy is now primarily used to deploy satellites, both military and commercial, in space. The Falcon Heavy has a capability to reach and deploy in all kinds of ranges, from low Earth orbit to geostationary orbit. These are the exact kind of launches we will be seeing next year. US Space Force Launching Missions on the Falcon Heavy United States' newest military branch, the US Space Force, is ordering three of the five launches SpaceX will be conducting next year. The first two launches are US Space Force missions on the Falcon Heavy rockets that were initially scheduled to launch in 2021 but since then have been delayed to 2022. The launch of the Space Force's USS F-44 mission was initially set for October 9, 2021, but officials delayed the mission. According to Space Systems Command, the reason was that they were not confident with payload readiness and needed more time. The USS F-44 mission was supposed to deliver multiple military payloads to a high-altitude geosynchronous orbit on the USS F-44 mission. One of the spacecraft on the USS F-44 launch is a microsatellite named Tetra-1, built by Millennium Space Systems. Military officials said in a statement the Tetra-1 satellite was created to prototype missions and tactics, techniques, and procedures in and around geosynchronous Earth orbit. According to officials, the Space Force missions USS F-44 and the second mission USS F-52 were scheduled to fly in 2021, but have been delayed due to payload readiness and range scheduling issues. Space Force has now also added a third launch to their plans as well. The mission is called USS F-67 and is a classified national security mission to geostationary Earth orbit awarded to SpaceX last year under a $332 million contract. USS F-67 is planned to be launched in the later half of 2022 by SpaceX. The Space Force has not disclosed payloads for USS F-52 or USS F-67. If you are wondering, we only know about USS F-42 carrying the Tetra-1 satellite, but it's probably some high-tech military gear that the Space Force does not want to publicly announce. The remaining non-military launches the remaining two launches are for non-military payloads. The first of these is the launch of the Viasat-3 commercial broadband satellite by a company called Astranus. 
This will be Falcon Heavy's first commercial satellite to be launched into geostationary orbit via a direct injection mission. The plan for the mission to launch is currently set for spring 2022. Astranus is a San Francisco-based startup, building and operating the Arcturus satellite for US-based telecom company Pacific Dataport Incorporated. Pacific Dataport Incorporated plans to lease capacity from Arcturus to provide internet services across Alaska, roughly tripling the available satellite capacity in the state. According to Astranus, this will bring down costs to one-third of current prices for residential and wholesale customers. Astranus pointed to research showing how more Alaskans are underserved regarding internet access than any other state in the United States. If the USS F-44 is delayed even more, then the Viasat-3 launch in spring of 2022 will become SpaceX's first direct geostationary orbit launch. The other launch is for NASA as part of their Psyche asteroid mission. NASA awarded a contract to SpaceX earlier this year for the launch of a mission to a large metallic asteroid on the company's Falcon Heavy rocket. NASA said that it will use a Falcon Heavy to launch its Psyche mission in July 2022 from Launch Complex 39A at the Kennedy Space Center. The contract is valued at $117 million, which includes the launch itself and other mission-related costs. NASA's Psyche program is one of the two missions for NASA's Discovery program. The Discovery program is NASA's long-running program to explore the universe and unlock the mystery of the cosmos. The Discovery mission is a relatively low-cost planetary science mission. In this case, it's a mission headed for an asteroid called Psyche. The asteroid is primarily made of iron and nickel. According to scientists, this asteroid could be the remnant of a core of a protoplanet that attempted to form before a high-speed collision with other planetesimals broke it apart. Planetary scientists believe that studies of the asteroid Psyche could help them better understand the formation of the solar system. The Psyche mission is led by Arizona State University, with Maxar as the prime contractor for the spacecraft. The launch will also carry two extra small sats as secondary payloads. These are Escape and Plasma Acceleration and Dynamics Explorers, or Escapade for short. These will study the Martian atmosphere and Janus, which will study binary asteroids. According to the current schedule, NASA's Psyche mission is fourth in line to be launched on board the Falcon Heavy in 2022. The launch window is a few weeks during August in 2022. That makes it five Falcon Heavy launches that are planned for 2022. Whenever Falcon Heavy flies next, it will mark the vehicle's first launch since June 2019. That is when the Falcon Heavy carried two dozen small satellites on a demonstration mission for the US Air Force called STP-2. Prior to STP-2, Falcon Heavy launched at the Arabsat-6A communication satellite in April 2019 and Elon Musk's Tesla Roadster in February 2018. Yes, Elon Musk launched his own Tesla Roadster into space as part of Falcon Heavy's maiden flight in 2018. 2022 will be an exciting year for space enthusiasts since so many launches are planned, especially if you live near Kennedy Space Center in Florida from where most of these launches will be taking place.